I think the liquid learning experience um, is based on two principles. Obviously, as an academic institution, the first principle is to cover the academic uh, background that we need to uh, give our students, you know, the skills that our students need uh, in order to face the professional, the professional challenges. So uh, as Howard Garner said, we um, all have different uh, types of uh, intelligences and therefore we, not all of us, we are not the same in the way we understand things or the way we study. You know? So I think uh, liquid learning allows uh, technology enhanced platforms and methodologies um, to uh, give us a path in which uh, we, we are able to understand uh, different concepts in different ways according to our uh, own type of intelligence. So I think that for an academic institution is very, very important, you know, to leverage on technology in order to understand the concepts that the institution is giving us. But second, also the, the university experience is not just about academics. I mean, it's also a life experience. So liquid learning also allows us to, um, to enhance both um, the physical experience as well as the digital experience. Um, and it allows us to dramatically increase the, that experience. You know? uh, how is this, for example? Uh, I can be um, having an internship in New York uh, while in the afternoons I'm able to connect to my class both synchronously or asynchronously, I'm able to connect to my class in, in, in Madrid. Or, for example, I can uh, join an NGO in Cambodia and, um, and also uh, I connect with my peers in class and get the best experience from that. No? So I think liquid learning is a perfect tool for the world we, we are living, in which the digital and the physical worlds are blending together in order uh, to uh, enhance this uh, university experience.